What is good you guys, it's your boy that boy DJ. Um, in this video I'm going to be showing you guys just a little bit of how I use my own vocals to make little vocal chops. So I'm going to kind of be demonstrating that in this beat that I'm making. Um, there's not really any talking in it so I'm going to be narrating over it. This is going to be like the first time that I do that. But without further ado, here's the video. Alright, so right now I'm in Analog Labs and what I'm doing is I'm just looking for just a piano to kind of set the base of the beat that I'm making. And as you can see, I found something fire, so I'm just going to play the piano. Alright, so I found a pretty decent chord progression. What I'm going to do is I'm actually just going to go into Tools and press Dump Score Log. And I'm just going to grab the last little thing that I played because that sounded pretty cool. So right here what I'm doing is I'm just changing some of the notes so that the rest of the progression can have just some more variation. All right now, so all I'm doing to add a little bit more depth to this piano is I'm adding a little bass. Um, this is not the final bass sound. I'm just kind of messing with the notes and then later on I change this to a different bass. All right, so here's the part that you guys have been waiting for. This is me constructing the vocals. What I do is I go to track 20 and then I link it to track 21 so I can put all of my vocal effects on that track. Then I just go into the input for track 20 and then I put it in input two because that's where my microphone is set to. You can see me trying to grab a microphone. I'm wearing some pajamas, whatever. Sometimes you just gotta go pajamas and a wife beater, bro. All right, now the headphones are on. Let's sing something. Usually when I record these vocal chops, I'll just put on some auto-tune just so I can sound a little bit better. So because I didn't want any input delay, um, I couldn't record my voice through um, the software that I was using OBS. So I'm just going to show you guys what I made after I record it. So the recording process is pretty simple. All you got to do is press that red button by the pause button on top of the FL thing. You know what I'm talking about. But uh, yeah, the process is pretty simple. Uh, if you mess up, you just got to redo it, retake the track, and you can just kind of manipulate it however you want. Whoa, whoa. All right, so right here I'm loading up this plugin called M Auto Pitch, and then I put the speed down. And what I'm doing is I'm just messing with the performance shift, so it's gonna sound way cooler. And then right here I just add a couple more effects. I'm adding a fruity EQ, and then I also add a fruity reverb. Alright, so I've got the vocals done. Now all I'm doing is I'm getting just a little flute from Analog Labs, and then I'm just going to add one more little melody, and then I'm just going to finish up the beat. Okay, that was the wrong note, but luckily I can just move the note down to what I wanted it to be. My bad. All 
Alright, so right here, the bulk of the video is pretty much done. So I'm gonna stop talking. Feel free to stay watching this video if you want. If you wanna click off, that's okay too. But I'm just gonna be vibing, um, finishing the rest of this beat.